snow hitting Eastern Isle the last 48 hours or so. A little bit more on the way. Some of us might be wishing we could avoid going outside <laughs> altogether. Yeah, and students at one area university can do just that thanks to a unique feature on their campus. With that in mind, let's go live right now. The KWW reporter Ashley Neighbor talking with students today at Mount Mercy University in Cedar Rapids about the unique system that they have to avoid bad weather situations. Well, that's right, Abby and Ron. I'm here at Mount Mercy's campus, and as you can see, it's fairly quiet here. Now, of course, that's partly because of it is a little bit later out, but really that's because of what's underneath my feet. At Mount Mercy, it's the last day of J-term classes before the next semester. So where are all the students? When it gets really cold, Almost everybody's in the tunnels. There's really nobody outside. That's right. A tunnel system gives students and staff a welcomed escape from the bitter cold, even if you're an Iowa native like Peyton Stab. I am as used to them as you can get. She's one of the many students who may not venture outside on the coldest of days. Actually, in the polar vortex last year, I wasn't outside for like two weeks. I used them every single day. In Iowa's unrelenting winters, it's a draw. Students can roll out of bed five minutes before class, sit on their flip-flops and shorts, and walk right into class. And so they don't have to worry about gearing all up or getting their sleds to come down the hill. The tunnels feature maps, cameras, and even a phone system to ensure student safety. It's a very good excuse not to have to step outside, especially like the weather we've had the past couple of days. It's very cold, so it's really nice to not even have to throw on your jacket to go to class. It connects the entire upper campus, meaning no venturing outside to go to class, the cafeteria, or the gym, and it may double as one too. People that are walking just hear someone coming on the left and they see someone sprinting by, and it's a great opportunity for our students, not only just to stay in shape, but to stay safe so they're not running on the ice too. Now the tunnel systems have been a, a, around as long as the university and they were first built to house wires and pipes and help with transportation over the decades ago. They were opened for students and staffs and as the campus has expanded, so has the tunnel network. Live in Cedar Rapids, mm -hmm. Ashley Neighbor, New 7 KWWL. Yeah, thanks Ashley. Ashley, of course, you mentioned the uh, security for the students. That's always top of the list with the maps and the cameras and the phone system. Security officers also make the rounds. All the time and by the way the tunnels are closed overnight for safety. 